Most of us love going to school and hanging out with our friends. Unfortunately, there are a few kids who cause trouble. Destroying someone's property, vandalizing the school, bullying, selling drugs, or worse. Some students engage in violence, gang fights, and even carry weapons. We all know these actions are totally wrong. We don't want anything to do with them. But have you ever stopped to think that maybe we can actually stop it from happening? If you saw someone doing something illegal at school, or even just picking on another student, would you do anything about it? Probably not. Why not? Well, if you try to stop it, they might do something to get even. If you went to your parents or a teacher, for sure they'd find out who told. It's easier just to ignore it than to get involved. There are two reasons why people typically don't report crimes or tell somebody the crime is going to take place. The first reason is fear of reprisal, or fear for your own safety. Most people would try to stop bad things from happening or help catch the people who did it if they knew there weren't going to be any forms of repercussion. Unfortunately, nobody's going to help stop crime from happening at their school if they're scared. And a code of silence sometimes takes over. The second reason that people don't report crimes is something called apathy or indifference, which is a lack of concern or interest in what's happening. Some students who know about or witness a crime might think, this doesn't directly affect me, so why should I bother to do anything about it? Crime Stoppers understands why people don't report crimes. Crime Stoppers is designed to protect people who want to report a crime but are afraid of reprisal, and to motivate those who are simply apathetic about crime at their school. Crime Stoppers, run by citizens, is a non-profit, charitable organization that brings together police services, the media, and the community in the fight against crime. Crime Stoppers provide citizens with a way to anonymously give the police information about an incident or a potential incident of which they have knowledge. You don't have to worry that anyone will find out if you report something bad happening at your school. Like we said, Crime Stoppers is completely anonymous. All you have to do is call or submit your tip online. That's it. There's no caller ID and you never have to testify in court. Just dial 1-800-222-8477 or visit www.tipsubmit.com. Nobody, including the person taking the call, ever knows it was you. Crime Stoppers has been so successful because it is based on a partnership that works. The community, the media, and the police all work together to help prevent crimes and bring criminals to justice. Worldwide, as a result of tips to Crime Stoppers, over 800,000 arrests have been made and more than $93 million has been awarded. The community plays two roles. First, a volunteer board of directors provides civilian guidance for the organization. They work on fundraising initiatives to make sure there's money available for those rewards we talked about. They make sure everything runs smoothly in your community and they help promote awareness about the Crime Stoppers program. If your community doesn't know about Crime Stoppers, then the program doesn't work. That's the second thing. You have to help. You have to call if you hear or see anything suspicious. And like we said, if you provide a tip to Crime Stoppers, nobody ever knows it was you. Crime Stoppers makes it easy to do the right thing. Crime doesn't pay. Crime Stoppers does. At 9 p.m., the elderly victim was attacked at the corner of Richwood Crescent and Greenwood Avenue. The victim was transported to hospital with serious injuries. Both suspects are described as male, white. The most effective way for Crime Stoppers to let you know what's going on is the media. Newspapers, radio stations, TV stations, and even YouTube. They all help to get the Crime Stoppers message out in the public. They provide information about Crime Stoppers, and they also provide details about unsolved crimes. That's how it all started. That police officer put a reenactment of the crime on television. Someone remembered exactly what happened and called with a tip. Local stations still use reenactments to prompt someone who might have seen something to call. The suspect demanded cash and jumped up on the counter to gain access to the open cash drawer. The suspect fled the scene after receiving a quantity of Canadian currency. I know if I saw one of those on TV or heard it on the radio and saw something that might help, I would call Crime Stoppers and give them any information I had. And that's when the police get involved. They're the other partner who works with the community and the media. They receive the anonymous tips from Crime Stoppers and either start an investigation or use the information to help solve one they're already working on. 
Remember, no detail is too small. Even if your tip alone doesn't solve the crime, it might provide that extra bit of information the police need to find who they're looking for. The police then report back to Crime Stoppers when the information leads to an arrest, laying a charge, or seizing property that was involved in the crime. That way, Crime Stoppers knows if your tip helped the police. So when you're following up using that confidential case number, you'll know if you can get a reward. So what types of crimes or incidents should you call Crime Stoppers about? Well, in general, if something doesn't seem right to you, it probably isn't. Since any information might help, and nobody will know it's you, it never hurts to call. Any crime, any time. Talk, type, or text. Crime Stoppers has been around a long time, so we know that it works. In fact, Crime Stoppers began in a place called Albuquerque, New Mexico, in 1976. In July of that year, a gas station attendant was shot and killed during an armed robbery involving two suspects. After six weeks of investigation, there were no solid leads, but the police knew that there were witnesses. A Canadian, Greg McAleese, one of the police detectives working on the case, approached a local news station and asked them to air a reenactment of the crime on the 10 o'clock news. He guaranteed anonymity and offered $300 of his own money to anyone who came forward with information that would lead to the apprehension of the offenders. The morning after this reenactment was televised, a tip came in about the crime and both suspects were apprehended a short time later. Not only did they confess to the murder, but also a string of several other robberies. This system was so successful that it soon became a permanent community program in partnership with the Albuquerque City Police. Crime Stoppers was born. In 1982, Calgary became the first Canadian city to adopt the program. And now Crime Stoppers can be found all over the world. What are some of the things you've seen happen in your school that you might call about? Maybe if someone is vandalizing something at the school or someone else's property. Yeah, if someone is spray painting or printing graffiti on school walls. They're like smashing windows or damaging someone's car in the parking lot. Like anything where someone else's property is getting wrecked. Definitely. Those are all things that you should report. What else? Stealing. If someone takes something from another student or from the school. Anything to do with drugs. And that could either be someone in possession or a dealer. Drugs are against the law and always lead to bigger crimes. So even if you think it's no big deal, you should report it. In Ontario, more than $1.3 billion in illegal narcotics has been seized from tips to Crime Stoppers. Any others? What if someone gets picked on or beaten up? Yes, we want tips about any type of violence or bullying. No one should be afraid to go to school. And remember, we also want to know if there's any planned violence. If you hear people talking about a gang attack, or a fight after school, call Crime Stoppers and hopefully we can prevent it from happening. What else have you seen that you should be concerned about? I've seen people at my school carrying knives. I even saw a guy in a gang with a gun once. He had it in his locker. We have to know about any types of weapons. We don't want any students getting injured or worse, killed. If you see a weapon or an imitation weapon, call Crime Stoppers. We want to react before they have a chance to use it. Remember, by calling Crime Stoppers, you can not only catch someone who has done something wrong, but also prevent something bad from happening. It's our school, our community, our call. Make it. Crime Stoppers, how may I help you? Hi, I was calling to report a tip. Some guys um, came to my school and they broke the windows and the portables and spray painted graffiti on the back of the school. You can also follow up to see if your tip helped. In fact, if your tip led to a successful conclusion, you could even get a reward. So the possibility of a financial benefit may also motivate some students to get involved. Crime Stoppers offers cash rewards of up to $2,000 for tips that lead to an arrest, charge, seizure of illegal drugs or property, or cases cleared for any crime. And again, no one knows it was you who gave the tip. When you call, the operator gives you a case number and you can call back any time. And give them that number and they'll tell you if your tip was successful. You can do the same thing on the web. Just type in your number and check on your tip. Hi, um, I'd just like to check up on a tip I made a couple of weeks ago. Yes, can you let me know your tip number? 080575. When you call back, if your tip was successful, you'll be told how to pick up your reward. Crime Stoppers distributes rewards through businesses that are busy with people coming and going all the time, such as a bank or a retail store. When you arrive at the location, just ask to speak with the manager. Let the manager know you are there to pick up an envelope, and then tell them the code that will appear on the envelope. 
The manager will then give you the envelope with the cash reward inside. The Crime Stoppers program is responsible for organizing the reward envelope, so no one, including the manager, will ever know what's inside. It's so easy. 1-800-222-8477, which is 1-800-222-TIPS, or online at www.tipsubmit.com. Why wouldn't you make the call? So if you saw someone doing something illegal, or knew something bad was going to happen, and you could report it without anyone ever knowing it was you, would you do it? Of course. It's so easy, and there's no reason to be worried. It would feel great to help someone out or to prevent something bad from happening. You could even call or text from your cell phone. So again, how do you get in touch with Crime Stoppers? It's easy. Just call 1-800-222-TIPS or 1-800-222-8477. You can call from home, from a cell phone, or make a free call from a payphone. You can also go on the web. Just go to www.tipsubmit.com and follow the instructions. It's so easy. In some areas, you can also text message. Go to www.smscrimetips.com to see how. You can check if your region supports text messaging and see what your agency ID is. All the instructions are there. And it's completely anonymous. No one will ever know you called, not the operator or the police. You will never be asked to testify in court. And remember, don't tell anybody you contacted Crime Stoppers. If you don't tell, no one at your school will ever know you provided a tip. Remember, you might also be eligible to receive a cash reward. When you provide your tip, write down your confidential case number and call back or check on the web to see if it resulted in an arrest, someone being charged, or property being seized. If it did, you could get up to $2,000. Just go to the bank or business with your case number and pick up your reward. Again, no one knows it was you. It's easy, it's anonymous, and you could get a reward. There's no reason not to help make your school a safer place. Make the call. Just make the call.